Aha, my heart is dinky do. It's just me, Scotty McClue. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, so much to happen tonight and so little time to do it in. Monday evening, nothing gets past me, of course, and is the Scotty McClue Monday evening tea time pop up. Now, we have a tremendous amount to get through tonight, but also there is an added dimension to this evening. The added dimension is, of course, that we have the Scotty McClue Big Bank Holiday Quiz. And I hope you will be joining me for that and giving me some of your very smart answers. So there you are. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Bank Holiday Monday Tea Time pop up. So much to talk about and so little time to do it in. But also tonight, we are including the quiz. So tell Tent, tell Tent, tell Tent, tell Tent that Scotty McClure has popped up live on the big one. Facebook Live, one of the world's top broadcasts. Jenna from West Barnes. Dinky do, Jenna. Lovely to have you now. Am I right in thinking that West Barnes is out at Dunbar? So there you are, West Barnes in Dunbar, very close where I used to live. And I was a regular visitor to West Barnes because am I not right in thinking you have the John Muir Park there and you can get a walk by the seashore. Good evening, Scotty, my man. Dinky do, says John Wilson. Dinky do to you, John Wilson. Good evening. Uh, I've just got in from work, says Angela Goodlett. Well, Angela, you're just in time for the Scotty McClue bank holiday quiz. You were one of these souls that was at work today. Cameron Constable says hello. Hello to you, Cameron, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Susan Forrest and James Morgan, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Down in Lancashire there. Excellent stuff. John Kerr's watching. Alex Robertson, one of our finest actors. Dinky Do, he says. Hello, Dinky Do, Alex. Good evening, Scotty, says Alan McGee. Love, Bellhaven Bay, says Jenna Waters. Yes, Jenna. Absolutely. We are right. That's exactly. So, West Barnes, Dunbar, I know where you are. Bellhaven Bay. Lovely, lovely. Mary Allen, Dinky Do, welcome to the Scotty. Scotty McClue, Monday Tea Time pop-up. We'll be starting the quiz soon, so get yourselves ready. Glasgow, happy days. Good evening, says David Brannigan, or Brannigan David, as he calls himself on here. D Gould is watching. Dinky Doo Dee, lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, and it is, of course, the bank holiday quiz night. So there you are. Hello, says James Morgan. Hello. Now, one of the main reasons for the pop-up tonight, as well as to educate, inform, and entertain you, or inform, educate, and entertain you, whichever way round you want to do it, I don't mind, is to say thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us for show 109 last night. How tremendous is that? 109 shows. Neil Tipping's there. Hello, my good friend, says Joseph Gibbons. And to you, Joseph, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now then, when do we start the quiz? When would suit you? You tell me, because remember, this is your show as much as it's mine. Scotty McClure is just the catalyst for your enjoyment. All right? Very, very important to get that across to you and to say dinky do. I hope you've had a lovely day. Those of you that went to work today, thank you for that. Those of you who were on holiday, thank you for that. So there we are. Excellent. Stephen Lipton's watching. Used to love your tea. Stephen. Tremendous stuff. Right. Shall we do our first question tonight and see how we get on? What did Snow White's wicked stepmother use to tempt her? What did Snow White's wicked stepmother use to tempt her? Right. You get on with that and uh, see if you can answer off the top of your head. Very, very important. Ian Whitelaw's watching. Dinky do, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. And Apple, says Gordon Barry. Well answered. And Mary Allen, at the same time, simultaneous answers. Angela Goodlett, simultaneous answers. Fantastic. These are nice, easy ones, of course. 
course. Stephen Rooney is watching. Dinky do, Stephen. Well done. It was an apple. And sorry, Alan McGee, it was not a scotch pie. And uh, Jenna Waters says an apple. Excellent stuff. Irene Garvey is watching. Dinky do, Irene. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome. I say you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the one stop broadcaster, with our Monday evening tea time pop up, a bank holiday pop up just for you to say dinky do and to introduce you to the big bank holiday quiz. Scotty McClue's big bank holiday quiz. Hey, brew, says Michael Putley. Dinky do, Michael. Lovely to have you with us and Welcome, I say. Right, question two in Scotty McClue's Big Bank Holiday Quiz. Loch Garten in Scotland is famous for which bird of prey? Loch Garten in Scotland is famous for which bird of prey? Pray. Get yourselves on with that one, guys. Dinky do. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure's Bank Holiday Monday. Nothing gets past me, you know. And uh, it's quiz time live on Facebook Live, the World Stop Broadcast platform. Good evening, Scotty, says Stephen Mooney. The Osprey, says Alan McGee. The Sea Eagle, says Mary Allen. And Michael Putley, the Osprey, Gordon Barry, the Osprey, Damon Johnson's watching, welcome, Angela Goodlett, the Osprey, excellent stuff guys, you are very, very, very clever people, and you are absolutely spot on, this is tremendous stuff, it's a long time since I've met such clever people, but these are nice easy questions for you, just to get you started, let me know when you feel you're up to another one, Damon Johnson, dinky do come and join us. You're watching Scotty McClure. Nothing to fear. On you come. Say your piece. Excellent stuff. This is just the Monday evening tea time pop up, and it coincides with bank holiday, of course. So I thought we'd have the big bank holiday quiz tonight, just to introduce you to that and to test out your grey cells. Excellent stuff. How high is an equine hand? So there you are, an equine hand. You would have thought equines don't have hands, they have hooves, but you know what I mean. How high is an equine hand? So there you are, the Osprey, Mary Allen, very good. Jenna Waters, the Osprey, excellent stuff, guys, you're spot on. Carmack McCusker's watching, dinky do, Carmack, come and join us. Maria Wilson, how do you solve a problem like Maria? Maria. So there we are, excellent stuff. And you're watching Scotty McClure. For those of you who are an alien life form from another planet, I'll spell it for you. Capital S, small c, O double T I E, that's the Scotty, the McClure, capital M, small c, capital C L U E. Four inches, says Gordon Barry. Just popped on, Scotty, but need to pop back off again. Just been called out to work again. Derek Miller, you're a very hard working man, I say. Dinky do to you. Four inches, says Jenna Waters. We're talking about the equine hand, right? Equine, as in the horse. Equerry, somebody that would have held the king's horse, the king's equerry. There we are, equus, equine. Four inches, Mary Allen says six inches. We have a problem here. Four inches or six inches. Four I-N-X-H says Michael Putley, who has a problem with his predictive text, whether he knows it or not. Thank you, do a very warm welcome. It's Scotty McClue, Bank Holiday Monday, the tea time pop-up just for you. So there we are. And uh, we're looking for, right, we're looking for how high is an equine hand. Excellent stuff. All right. Is it four inches or six inches? You Tell me, <laughs> how high is the equine hand? All right, four inches or six inches? Lol, says Mary Allen, you're all enjoying this. I knew you would do. Uh, Gary Frank Crossley, you're watching. Come and join us. It's Scotty McClue, tea time pop-up, Monday evening. Nothing gets past me. Got to go off now for my English tea. Jack Holt has asked for a shout-out, says Michael Butley. Then I think we must shout out, Hello, Jack Holt. Dinky-doo, not just 
from Scotty McClue, but from everybody globally in the universe. Tracy Walsh is watching. Come and join us, Tracy. You're very, very welcome. If you've just joined us, folks, welcome, welcome, of course. I'm a little bit sharp tonight. Well, Scotty McClure is always sharp. We know that. But a little bit sharp tonight, of course, because it's the bank holiday. Jim Gallagher's watching. Hello, Jim. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, Fiona McCray. Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us as well. You're all asking for a wave, so I'll just, I'll just wave to you because this equipment's so sensitive, if I go touching the screen, there's every chance the broadcast will disappear, and we don't want that, do we? So there you are. Now, how's the time looking? It's round about six o'clock. Am I not correct? So there you are. Next question. Next question, right? Very, very important, this. How many... How many of Henry VIII's wives lost their head? So there you are, poor souls. How many of Henry VIII's wives lost their head? Right? See if you can answer that one. Big bank holiday quiz on, guys. Come and tune in. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. In fact, let's do a bit of sharing. Yep, let's get a bit of sharing out there, because there might be some people who don't realize that we're on live right now, and they might be thinking, oh my goodness, uh, three, oh, says Neil Tipping, so there you are, you. three, I'll just turn that down a bit loud, uh, two, says Alan McGee, two, says Gordon Banny, so many of Henry VIII's wives lost their head, or their head, as we say in Scotland, right? I'm just sharing this, guys, to let everybody know. All right, very, very important. Share to a page. So we'll share this to the Scotty McClure page, and we'll let them know that we are live now, big style. Excellent. That will come up. There we go. And uh, share to a page. Share to a page. Marvellous stuff. Uh, two, Scotty, says uh, Ian Burke. Two, do we think it's two? How many of Henry VIII's wives lost their head? Right. How many do we think it is? Is it two or is it three? Not that I want to put any doubt in your mind. Jen Pinnett's watching. Welcome, Jen. You're watching Scotty McClure. It's the big one. It's the bank holiday pop-up just for you. And everybody says, dinky-doo. Somebody asked one night, what's the purpose of the show? I said, to bring everybody on Facebook together in one big global talk show. I think that's quite a noble cause, don't you? So there we are. So hello, Scotty boys, says Greg Drysdale. Hello, Greg. You're uh, joining us for the big bank holiday quiz. Greg says it was three of Henry VIII's wives that lost their head. Can you name them for me? Who did we have? Lady Jane Grey, Catherine of Aragon, yes. Who else did we have? Lady Jane Grey, Catherine of Aragon. Um, who else? Come on. There was another one, was it? Another Catherine? What about that one? Anne Boleyn, that was another one. There we are. And then was there not a Mary? So there you are. You tell me. Come on. Henry VIII's wives. And how many lost their head? We are swithering between two and three. All right. Greg Drysdale has just popped up. I'm just going to uh, get the sharing going, guys, and let everybody know we're on. Excellent stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and I've popped up on Monday tea time to let you know thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us on Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp for the big show. 22,000 people saw last week's program. Not bad stuff, I say. Excellent. There are radio stations would give their eye teeth for that. And on a pop-up, Scotty McClure gets 22,000 viewers, 2.5 million uh, since the show began. I think that's amazing. Lee fans watching. Come and join us, Lee. You're very, very welcome. Lots happening tonight. We've got the big quiz on. It was indeed two wives 
of Henry VIII who lost their heed. The rest, I think, just got banished. Can you tell me who they were, the two that actually lost their heed? Uh, John Patterson's watching, Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us, John. Come and join us live and get your piece in. Next question. There we are. If a god was Cupid in Rome, right, what could he expect to be called in Greece? So you know when you had the Roman gods and the Greek gods. Hello, oi, oi, Sharice. Welcome, welcome. You're just in time for the Big Bank Holiday Quiz. And you're a very, very clever lady, so you'll know what to do. Good evening, Scotty, says Sharice. Good evening, Sharice. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClure, of course. The Monday evening pop-up just for you to say thank you very much. Erod, says Mary Allen. Mary Allen, you are one very clever lady. Eros, says Gordon Barry. Gordon Barry, you're one very, very clever man. So we've got Erod and Eros, right? But could there be a predictive text problem here? A Scots god, says Sharice. No, 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 no. I am a Scots god, Sharice Allison. There's only one Scots god, apart from God himself. Yes, the way we are. J.P. McCusker, thank you do. One of our finest fellows. And you've been for a wonderful, wonderful holiday with your lovely family. And of course, happy anniversary from Scotty McClure and from the whole of the universe, because we are a global show. So there you are. Aphrodite, says <laughs> Aphrodite. <laughs> Jenna Waters, what are you like? So there you are. So we're looking at the god. What was the god called, right? I can give you a clue in a wee minute. I'm not going to tell you right away, but I shall give you a clue in a wee minute. So the question, if God was known as Cupid in Rome, what was the God known as in Greece? All right. Excellent stuff. And it's not the grease monkey. Okay. So uh, come and join us if you've just joined us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, Monday evening bank holiday pop-up combined with the big bank holiday quiz just for you. Good evening, I say. Malcolm Wilson's joined us. Welcome, Malcolm. Lovely to have you with us. Come and answer the questions. So there we are. Have we got an answer to what the god would be called? Somebody said Erod. There's Greg Drysdale saying Eros. Right, I'll give you a clue. There's a statue to this god in Piccadilly Circus. All right, so there we are. Who could it be? Charisse Allison, hello mate, says Kevin Wiggum. Hi Kevin, dinky do. Excellent. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure. Monday evening pop-up, tea time pop-up. Uh, JP McCarran, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Excellent stuff. Scotty McClure, just for you. Live on Facebook Live, folks. One of the great broadcast platforms. And um, God brackets sake, says William Drysdale. No, no, there's a lot of things that are for God's sake i agree with you oi oi says john adams hi oi, oi pigeon says mary allen so there you are now the pigeon the pigeon there are pigeons not so much in piccadilly circus because it's so busy that would be more trafalgar square so there you are and it's nelson who's on his column in Trafalgar Square. Where is Mr. John A. tonight, Mr. Hughes? Says Sharice. Sharice, stop having a wee conversation of your own on the Scotty McClure Show. I say dinky do. So there we are. Excellent. It is, of course, Eros. Yes, Eros. Yes, you're quite right. Wilma Hamilton says, hello, two kisses. Hello, Wilma Hamilton. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to Scotty McClure's Big Bank Holiday pop-up and combined with the Big Bank Holiday quiz. Excellent stuff. You're doing very well. How many different centuries did Edmund Blackadder appear in? Right? Wee bit of a trick question here. It's not all just Mrs. Watts' pie shop. <laughs> 
Right, there's a bit more to it there. So there you are. I can't share, Scotty. Why is it, Sharice? Sharice, I don't know. Maybe you are a prolific sharer. You're a very generous and gifted lady. So you may have shared too much and Mr. Facebook sort of thought. Come on, dude. Uh, I think you've rigged this, Sharice. Sharice, why would Scotty McClue rig the Monday evening bank holiday quiz? So there you go. <laughs> Uh, Greg, they are jeans, pal, says Sharice. Who's Jean? Uh, so I'll tell you. Shujat Ali's watching, one of our top businessmen in this country. Lovely to have you with us, Shujat, and I hope all is well with you. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the big one, the one everybody's talking about, the one everyone is watching. This is a world phenomenon. This is the new television. Ask yourselves, would you rather watch a bit of Scotty McClue on the telly or would you rather watch some recorded program full of adverts? Come on, up to yourself. There we are, no brainer there. My mum's gene, says William Drysdale. Aha, that might be something to do with it. Put her in the naughty corner, Scotty, says John Adams. Sharice, he wants you in the naughty corner wearing the dunce's hat. But uh, you're too clever for that. Harry Fitzsimmons. Hi, Scotty. Welcome, Harry. Lovely to have you with us. Okay. How many different centuries did Edmund Blackadder appear in? All right. So there you go. See how you go with that one. I told you they get a little bit harder as we go on. I was very generous to you at the start. Gave you lots and lots of easy ones. But they toughen up. Uh, no, you've rigged this so I can't share, says Sharice. Sharice, how could I possibly rig anything? That's up be to be between you and Facebook. Excellent stuff. Mary Allen says three, right? Mary Allen, you are one very clever lady. I'm just going to check. Have you got it right? Have you got it right? We say. So there we are. How many centuries? Excellent. Whoa. Oh, not quite right. So they are question of McClure. Not quite right, Mary Allen. Not quite right, Harry Fitzsimmons. So there we are. So let's think about this. Let's go back to the early ones, the ones with Bob and all that sort of stuff. Hello, Bob. Dave McCann's watching. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky you do. You're watching Scotty McClure, a tea time pop-up, Monday tea time pop-up, bank holiday. A lot of you will be very busy trying to get home, trying to get unpacked, waiting for a train, trying to get on a train, trying to get a seat in the train, all that sort of stuff. Four, Wilma Hamilton. <coughs> clever, clever, clever lady. Four centuries, Blackadder, spanned, I say. Gordon Barry, spot on. John Adams, five. Nah! So there we are. Eight, nine, ten. Nah! Excellent. Keith Thompson's watching. Uh, yes, I'm going to eat my tea, so Sharice. You eat your tea, darling. If you want to multitask, you can watch Scotty McClure as well. But uh, make sure you're a good girl. So there you are. We don't want to put you on the naughty step. In what town did Roy of the Rovers play football. All right. Tea time in the Nick, Scotty. This is John. John, you're terrible. You're terrible. You're very naughty. Naughty boy. Kevin Walker, Sharice, just you divest yourself of him. Uh, what are you having for your tea, Sharice? Greg Drysdale asks. The nation wants to know. If you want to tell us, Sharice, you're very welcome. If you don't want to tell us, it's Nibdi's business. Kirkcaldy. She's not eating Kirkcaldy for her tea. So there you are. And Roy of the Rovers did not play for Kirkcaldy, as far as I remember. Kirkcaldy Scotty. Gordon Barry. Gordon Barry, what are you like? He's come up with Mel Chester. Can he be right, I ask you? Who remembers Roy of the Rovers? And where would you find Roy of the Rovers? Come on now, Gordon Barry, spill. Step up to the plate. Fess up, I say. Where would you find Roy of the Rovers? Right? Very, very important. Excellent stuff. Very warm welcome. If you've just joined us and you're wondering what on earth's going on on your Facebook, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster with the big bank holiday pop-up and the big bank holiday quiz. A northern tune, Victor, 
It was. Mary Allen, yes, Roy of the Rovers was the victor. That's right. John P. Hazelton, come and join us, I say. So there we are. So, do we know Roy of the Rovers? Who did he play for? All right. <laughs> Let's have more of it. Laura Melvin, did you do? Laura Melvin's big smile. Lovely. Lovely to see you, Laura. Absolute gem of a lady. And uh, Sharice there with lots of big smiles. Having a nice time. Are you buckled? Are you buckled, Sharice? <laughs> so there we are. It was indeed Melchester. Gordon Barry, you are something of a genius, I tell you. A genius. The Rovers, <laughs> Mary Allen. Roy of the Rovers, yes. But what comic was it in? What what one was it in? I'm just a bairn. It's over my head, says so Sharice. Of course, this is all a way for your time, Sharice. Michael Yule, dinky do. Excellent stuff. Roy of the Rovers. Who remembers Roy of the Rovers? On what road did Nelly the Elephant meet the head of the herd? All right, so you have to say it. Nelly the elephant packed her trunk and off she went. Okay, so there you are. This John is a genius. Woft, woft, says Shirley. Woft. <laughs> Lol, says John Adams. Dinky do. Are you just joined us, folks? Scotty McClure, just for you. Monday evening pop up. Nothing gets past me. Bank holiday Monday. And uh, of course, a lot of you will be otherwise engaged. I understand, but I'm not going to desist because of that, am I? So there we are. Mandalay, says Gordon Barry. Right. <laughs> On what road did Nelly the elephant meet the head of the herd? So there we are. Yes. What road did Nelly the elephant meet the head of the herd? Uh, Gordon Barry has Mandalay. Mary Allen has Mandalay. Graham MacDonald has Mandalay. John Adams has Mandalay. Put the pennies in his box. Share shares. So Sharice Allison get sharing, guys. You're absolutely right. On the road to Mandalay, where the flying fishes play. Excellent stuff. Quite right. Right. Uh, off I go again. I'll just shut that down, and I'll get up the Scotty McClure Facebook, and we shall do a bit of sharing. Excellent. There we are. If you can all share, guys. Uh, kind of lay, says Sharice. So they are Bathgate, says William Drysdale. No, that's, is that where you're from, William Drysdale? That's not where Nelly the Elephant met the head of the herd. You're watching Scotty McClure Dinky Do. The 1956 marriage of what two seeming opposites prompted the headline, Egghead Marries Hourglass. Okay, 1956 marriage, two seeming opposites, prompted the headline, Egghead Marries Our Glass. All right. Pamela Lem is watching Dinky Doo. Pamela, lovely to have you with us. I'm kind of laughing here. You're no laughing at all, Sharice. You're spot on. It's just some of this stuff is a for your time. So there you are. You might be better watching the, the juvenile Scotty McClue pop-ups. So there we are. And we'll come up with much later stuff for you. All right, big question here. All right, in 1956, the marriage of seeming opposites prompted the headline, Egghead Marries Our Glass. Right? <laughs> now, you've got to be very sharp for this one, guys. So I am not treating my audience as dafties. I'm treating them as very, very clever people indeed. Scotty McClure, Monday evening pop-up, bank holiday Monday, just for you. Gordon Barry, Monroe and Miller. Monroe and Miller, says William Drysdale. So there we are, very, very interesting. Marlon Monroe and Arthur Miller, the playwright, the crucible. All that sort of stuff. Shall we just check? Is it what you're saying? Arthur Miller and Marilyn Monroe. You clever, clever people. Excellent stuff. Marilyn Monroe, Mary Allen, very good. Mary Allen and Gordon Barry. 
Very, very clever people. Jen Pirrett, Marlon Monroe and Arthur Miller. Yes, John Adams, they're on the telly, the eggheads. No, 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 that's a different, different eggheads. Uh, what, 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 so Sharice, what, what's happening? So the poor old Sharice, she's used to just a bit of cheeky chat on here. And tonight it's all sort of la di da and bank holiday and big chit chat, you know, big talk and all that. And Sharice is just, what, what's, what, what's happening? So the uh, transformation of the program, Ian Kerr's watching, Dinky do in Information, education, entertainment, that's the secret behind Scotty McClure, just for you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the bank holiday pop-up, I say. Ian Kerr's watching, and dinky-doo. You're right in the middle of the big bank holiday quiz, Scotty McClure's big bank holiday quiz, just for you. If you feel we can answer the questions, get tap-de-tap, tap-de-tap on your typewriters, and tap-de-tap, tap-de-tap on your screens. Let us know what is what. Why would you be given a green jacket, and a yellow jersey. All right. Why would you be given a green jacket and a yellow jersey? She's typing Chinese, Scotty. Han hao, ni hao. There we are, a little bit of Mandarin for you. McClure's not just as daft as he looks, you know, which is a good job. Uh, golf, says William Drysdale. So there you are. All right. Why would you be given a green jacket and a yellow jersey. A green jacket and a yellow jersey. William Drysdale says golf. Mary Allen says a golf bike. Maria Thompson's watching. Come and join us, Maria Love. Lovely to have you with us. You're very, very welcome. So there we go. Why would you be given, right, a green jacket and a yellow jersey? Any answers there? The Masters of the Tour de France. So there we are. Yes, for winning the U.S. Masters and the Tour de France, Master Gold Tourney. The, there we are, the U.S. Masters and the Tour de France. Excellent. Tour de France. Very, very clever. Right. What about this one? I think I'll have it. I'll have a little sip of Adam Zale. Maria Thompson, excellent stuff. A lot of clever people on here tonight. Dinky doo to every single one of you. You're watching Scotty McClue. Hold on. Bit of a comfort break, right? So I'll just quick mop doon with the clary, shall we? Oh, 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 oh. Excellent stuff. Mop doon with the clary, shall we? Whoop, whoop, in it to win it, says Sharice. Absolutely, Sharice. No problem at all now. Uh, oh, McClure's just having a wee drink of the Adams Ale. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. Scotty McClure's Monday Bank Holiday pop-up just for you to say thank you for watching the big 9 o'clock show on Sunday night last night. 22,000 of you have seen the show to date. Excellent stuff. That's what we like. What do I win? Says John Adams. You win the right to come on Scotty McClure and answer more questions. John Adams. This is your passport to the quiz. So here we go. <clears throat> what world renowned scientist played himself in an episode of Star Trek? Right? What world renowned scientist played himself in an episode of Star Trek. Star Trek, the next generation, I hasten to add, right? So Star Trek, the next generation, and what world-renowned scientist played himself in it? Can anybody remember that one? Dinky do. Excellent. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. You knew that already. What you may not know is that you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. So there we are. Garfunkel, says Sharice. So there you are. Are you describing the state you're in, Sharice? <laughs> John Adams, lots of smiles. And uh, there we are. And um, Sharice says uh, Stephen Hawking. 
Somebody else said the guy in the wheelchair can't mind his name. Vanessa Taylor's watching. Hawkins, says William Drysdale. No, it's Hawking. Hey, up, Scott, to my buddies, says Andy Wiles. Sharice is laughing. Andy Thompson, uh, Matty Mullaney wants to draw your attention to the fact that Scotty McClure is live on the Monday evening pop-up. Dinky-doo, just for you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Stephen Hawking, it was indeed Mary Allen. You are quite correct, you clever lady. Scotty for president, says Andy Wiles. Do you think I'd make a good president of the United States of America? Would Scotty McClure make a good POTUS? Um, so there you are. Matty Mullaney, dinky do. Right. The American inventor of, right, the American inventor, hold on a second. Ah, oh, there we are. Oh, I do Ah, oh, yes. The American inventor, just a wee second. There we go. The American inventor of the deep freezing process was a Mr. Bird's Eye. Is that true or is it false? So there we are. Is that true or is it false? You tell me. So there you are. What have we got here? Hi, Scotty, says Vanessa Taylor. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, I say. Wonderful stuff. Right. So we'll see if we can. Right. Andy Wiles, you'll have to go, la, I think. We're just about to lose Andy. We might keep him just now. We shall see, and uh, we shall see what is what. There we are. It's false, says William Drysdale. Right, the American inventor of the deep freezing process was a Mr. Bird's Eye. Is this true, or is it false? All right. American inventor of the deep freezing process, is it true, or is it false? False. All right. Very, very important. So there we go. And that's that. Right. Graham Loud is watching. Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Oh, Scotty, says Andy Wiles. Oh, Andy Wiles. You need to watch. There's a lot of young people watching, so we don't want any of your nonsense on here. It's true, says Vanessa Taylor. Anybody else? Is it true or false? The American inventor of the deep freezing process was Mr. Bonsai. Is this true or is it false? All right. Very, very important. Excellent stuff. So there we are. True or false? All right. What else do we think? 50-50, says Matty. So there you are. It's either true or false. It is indeed, but which one is it? So there we are. Is it true or is it false? William Drysdale, dinky do, lovely to have you with us, shouting out on his mates. So there we are. True or false, Stuart Main has just joined us, dinky do. You're watching Scotty McClue, and it's the Monday evening pop up just for you with the quiz. Shut up, old man, says Luke Greenwood. So we'll just block him. There we are. You'll never, ever, ever hear from Luke Greenwood again. All right. <laughs> Scotty, it's false, says Andy Wiles. Anyone else? The American inventor of the deep freezing, right? The deep freezing process was Mr. Bird's Eye true or false? There we go. Anybody else? One more. I'll take one more before I give you the answer. Come on, come on, let's see it. Scotty, it's too hotty. Yes, absolutely. It is indeed true. Mr. Bodzai invented the deep freezing process. How good is that? There you are. Yes, Scotty, great block. Excellent. So he's gone. We'll never, ever hear of him again. I don't know if you know him, Matty. But he's gone. Excellent. Silly man. Right. So there we go. Anybody who's very silly on here, off, gone, finished. We haven't time for nonsense. It's too important. And there's too little time for any of that. So excellent stuff. Right. Are we ready to move on? Next question in the Big Bank Holiday Quiz in the Scotty McClue Monday Evening Tea Time Pop-Up. 
right? It is true. It's absolutely true. There's no doubt about that. So there you are. What did the Israelites eat in the desert? Christopher loves watching. Welcome, welcome, Christopher. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue and everybody throughout the universe. So what did the Israelites eat in the desert? Any ideas? There we are. Do tell. So give us an answer for that. What did the Israelites eat in the desert? Um, I'm ready, baby, says Matty. Melanie, right, Matty, come on, spill, give us your answer. Step up to the plate, I say, face up. What did the Israelites eat in the desert? All right, remember, it's a limited diet out there, I have to say, so you're not going to be able to gorge yourself on anything. Excellent stuff. How are we doing for time? There we go. I may have to push off. But uh, we'll press on just now. What did the Israelites eat in the desert? All right. Very important. Any answers for that? Come on then. Let's have you. There we go. What's happening here? Hi. It's Daisy, Neil's daughter. I love you. Ah, Daisy Dinky Doo. So there we are. Just asking Google Scotty. No, don't be Googling. Come on, off the top of the head. Vanessa Taylor, Dinky Doo. That's the easy way. I want you all coming up with it. David Hennis is watching. Dinky Doo, excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us. Come on, come on, come on. Answers, answers. What did the Israelites eat in the desert? Have to hurry you. I'll have to put the clock on you. Are you ready? <laughs> Time's up. What did the Israelites eat in the desert? Harry Fitzsimmons says scorpions. He reckons they were eating the scorpions in the desert. Is this true, I ask you? Ned McMillan, Dinky Doo, if you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. It's the Scotty McClue Monday evening pop-up to say thank you for Sunday evening's audience. How successful is that? Amazing. 22,000 of you saw last week's programs. Mana, right? Ned McMillan says hello. Fosh says Savvy Stewart, the fosh, there we are, fosh, did they eat fosh in the desert, right? What did the Israelites eat in the desert? All right, uh, Carolina Mini, Minahini, Carolina Minahini is watching Dinky Doo. You're watching Scotty McClure with the Monday evening bank holiday pop-up quiz. This is the big bank holiday quiz. What did the Israelites eat in the desert? Answers, please, I ask of you. So there we are. One more answer. We've already had an answer. Let's have some more. Dinky doo. And as I say, if you've just joined us, join in the quiz. The question is, what did the Israelites eat in the desert? Excellent stuff. Right. One more answer, please. And then I shall spill. I'll just check that this is working okay. Right. Very, very important. All right. And there we are. Excellent stuff. Worms, says Vanessa Taylor. It wasn't worms, anyone else? Camel burgers, says William Drysdale. Cacti, says Neil Patterson. Got some great answers on here, guys. Very, very important, but unfortunately not quite right. We did get the answer earlier. When the Israelites were in the desert, they ate manna. All right. Hence, manna from heaven. Bring the manna down. All right, next question. So there we are. Next question. What Roman emperor, right, and you'll know a lot of Roman emperors, the Emperor Zero, who uh, said dinky do to Scotty McClure, right? Quail, says Simon Gilliland. Excellent stuff. Camel pie, says Savvy Stewart. It was manna, my darlings. Right, next question. What Roman emperor made his horse 
a senator. All right. What Roman emperor, and I know you know your Roman emperors. Excuse me, am I looking a wee bit scruffy there? What Roman emperor made his horse a senator? All right. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often teared with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus hath told us Caesar was ambitions. Is this ambition? There you are, a little bit of Shakespeare, just to keep you going while you're answering that. What Roman senator, uh, sorry, what Roman emperor made his horse a senator? Excellent stuff. So there you are. I think there's also a film about this. Easy, easy, says Matty Mulaney. Yes, easy, easy, Matty. Definitely, definitely. There we are. And uh, Emperor Bigmore. Now, Matty, you're being a wee bit silly here. William Drysdale. Nero. So there you are. No, uh, Nero was the one that fiddled while Rome burned. He was on the violin while Rome burned, we say. Scotty, why don't you just do a comedic news broadcast, says Kieran Anderson. We can do anything you like, Kieran. Not a problem at all. But tonight is the big bank holiday quiz. So there you are. Also, we've combined it with the Monday evening tea time pop-up. Angela Rolly's watching Dinky Doo. We need to get some sharing. We never get any sharing done. What have I got here? Who is bringing me this? Right, let's get short of that. And let's get back into the old... Um, Old Facebook, I say. When are we seeing McClue's pies? Says Danny Boyle. Well, you know, they're very, very famous, Danny Boyle. Have you ever had McClue's pies? Augustus, says Neil Patterson. Good answer, Neil. Unfortunately, not the right one, but uh, very, very good answer. Excellent stuff. I'm just going to see if we can do some sharing here. Can everybody share, share, share? Uh, excellent stuff. It wasn't actually Augustus. So we're looking for the Roman emperor that made his horse a senator. Excellent. So there we are. I'll just share that again. And that's gone sharing. And um, then what we'll do is we'll share to a group. Very, very important. And I'll just put live now. L-I-V-E. N-O-W. Live now, Scotty McClure. Excellent. And we'll just get that going. Wonderful. 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 There we are. Wonderful. 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 Excellent. There we go. Wonderful. Just letting everybody know that they can watch Scotty McClure right now, guys. Very, very important. If you want to do the same, that would be fantastic. So there you are. Get sharing. Get sharing. Very, very important. Scottish questions. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, Caligula says Vanessa Taylor. Vanessa Taylor, you are something of a genius. A genii, an absolute genius, absolutely. Anne Hartness is watching, Dinky Duran, lovely to have you with us. Welcome, 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 I say. Right, I'll just share that one as well. There's some more. We're just getting all those shared, guys, so that you'll know that Scotty McClure is live the new. And you can come and join us for the big bank holiday quiz, the big pop-up. It was indeed Caligula. Right, one more bit of sharing, just bear with me, and uh, I'm just going to share to a page, if that's all right with you, Scotty McClure page, and just let everybody know what's going on there. There we are, excellent stuff, and uh, on your page, on my page, the Scotty McClure page, if you can all do the same, guys, that would be great, and I'll just put live now here, L-I-V-E. N-O-W, live now, published to the Scotty McClure page. That's all let people know. Can you know multitask, housework? I'm doing the housework. I'm at the high dusting while we've got the quiz live on television, right? How many television programs do you know that are anything like 
as entertaining as the Scotty McClure show. Yeah, hey, says Vanessa Taylor. Yeah, hey, Vanessa, dinky do, and welcome to the Monday evening pop up, combining, of course, the Big Bank Holiday Quiz. Next question: <clears throat> Whose new look caused a sensation in post-war fashion? All right. So after the Second World War, somebody's new look caused a sensation. Whose was it? All right. Sammy Stewart, that's a wee bit cheeky. Can I not multitask? I'm multitasking at the moment, so there you are. Someday you'll learn that when you're broadcasting, you're axiomatically multitasking. So there you are. Hi, can you say hi to my daughter Emily, please, says Harry Fitzsimmons. Emily Fitzsimmons, dinky-doo, from Scotty McClue and the whole universe. Your bonnet's on fire, says Sammy. Absolutely, I'm on fire, Sammy. Excellent stuff. So there we are. Who was it? Do we have an answer? The new look, right? Whose new look caused a sensation in post-war Britain? Excellent stuff. Or post-war, I don't know if it was just Britain. Yes, post-war fashion. So there you are. So worldwide, excellent stuff. Your own bonnets and fair shammy struct. So there you are. Shammy. Shamantha. Excellent. Uh, come on then, give us an answer for that. Anybody got the new look? Who was it? Thanks, Scottish is loving it. Dink you do, says Harry Fitzsimmons. You're very, very welcome, Harry. What a fantastic Monday evening bank holiday pop-up. And do you like the idea of the quiz, guys? A wee bit of fun. And a lot of very, very clever people on here. It's excellent. It's lovely to know that Scotty McClure has such a smart audience. Marvellous stuff. So there you are. Whose new look caused a sensation in post-war fashion? Any ideas? Right. Come on, then. I'll have to put the clock on, y'all. Are you ready? I'll have to do the clock myself. It's quite difficult. There we go. Right answers, please. Whose post-war look caused a sensation in the fashion? Excellent stuff. Any ideas? All right. A lot of you will probably wear all this stuff, I would imagine. We touch of the Adam's Ale for Scotty McCree, for the Quizmaster, Quizmaster himself. Ooh. Excellent stuff. So there we go. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the one-stop broadcaster. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. So there you are. Anything up to 1.8 billion could be watching Scotty McClure right now on Facebook Live. Harry Fitzsimmons says, loving the quiz. Thank you, Harry. Marvellous stuff. Was it the miniskirt? I can't remember the person. It wasn't quite the miniskirt. That's a little bit later, I would say. So there you are. Fred Perry says Sammy Stewart. No, no, no. He was a uh, tennis. Fred was a great tennis player, of course, and brought out the Fred Perry range, which one of us did not have uh, a Fred Perry tennis shirt. So there you are, which we, uh, we called in those days, I think, a T-shirt. But uh, it was a totally different thing. It was a tennis shirt. I had one for squash. I used to play squash. So there you are. Doris Day, says Vanessa Taylor. No, Vanessa Taylor. Fashion house. So there you are. I think there'll probably be a bit of perfume and everything with it as well. One of the big fashion houses. So who was it after the Second World War? Caused an absolute sensation with the new look. Right? And uh, I'll put the clock on you for this one. Are we ready? Uh, oh, Ethan Gray. Say hi. Hi, Ethan Dinky Do. There we are. Answers, please. Anybody want to hazard an answer? Was it the bra? Says Neil Tipping. No, no, it wasn't either the bra, and it wasn't either the sister either. So there you are. Who could it have been? 
Uh, Sammy Stewart's having a go with Chanel. It wasn't Chanel, but you're kind of in the right ballpark. So have another go. Coco Chanel, says Nick Nicholas. No, Nick, it wasn't. But again, you're in the ballpark. Have another go. Chanel, says Andy Bell. No, it wasn't actually. But as I say, you're in the ballpark. Have another go. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome. Scotty McClure with the Monday evening bank holiday pop-up. And we're in the middle of the bank holiday quiz the big bank holiday quiz for a very very clever facebook live audience think you do i say so there you are it wasn't chanel come on have another go we've done the clock so i'll have to hurry you uh, five four three two one Charles A. Diver, happy birthday to my wee ma Nula. Nula Diver, dinky do. I'm asking my mum, says Vanessa Taylor. Okay, we'll hold the bus. Hold the bus on Scotty McClure's Big Bank Holiday Quiz. Right? The answer. All right. Susan Forrest, DR. 100% correct, darling. Brilliant stuff. Christian, DR. Excellent. So there we are. Linda McConaughey is watching. Dinky doo. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to the Scotty McClue Monday evening pop up. And of course, the big bank holiday quiz just for you saying dinky doo. Tell everybody about this program. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Can we all share now, please? Let's have a share. All right. Vanessa Taylor says Dior, yes. Christian Dior. Susan Forrest got it in Lancashire. Sid Devine's watching. Dinky Doo said, lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff coming for Scotty McClue, guys. Big, big news on its way, I say to you. So there you are. Christian Dior says, Andrew Stackhouse. Andrew, you're spot on. Clever people. Lovely. Next question. Are are you ready? All right, next question. Uh, very, very important. Yes, see how you get on with this. You're doing very, very well, I have to say. The folk tune, right? We're on to music here. The folk tune, Johnny Todd, was the theme music to what groundbreaking British cop drama of the 1960s? A folk tune, Johnny Todd. All right. And... Uh, T O double D, for those of you, it's not T O D as in Beatrix Potter's Tale of Mr. Todd, right? It's T O double D, Johnny Todd, J O H N N Y, capital T O double D, Johnny Todd, right? Scotty, I need to go to my wee 80 year, 80 year old neighbor's shoulders. They need a wee rub, says Shammy. Shammy, thank you very much for that. Dinky do. Love to your 80 year old neighbour from Scotty McClure and from the rest of the universe. Good evening, Scotty, my man, says Billy Gillen. So, what we're we doing, guys, we're looking for the folk tune Johnny Todd was the theme music to what groundbreaking British cop drama in the 1960s. Right, it was jazzed up a wee bit, so there you go. Uh, can we have less pop-ups and the nation will grind to a halt? Haven't had my tea yet, says God and Stilling. God and Stilling, you can multitask. You could do the springs in a gardener and also uh, work the compression levers as well. So there, you can walk and chew gum so you can have your tea and watch Scotty McClue. Andy Bell says Z cars. Andrew Stacker Z cars. The Sweeney says Billy Gillen. So there you go. Can anybody remember how it actually went? So there we go. Anybody remember how it went? <coughs> Come on then, sing it. Let's all sing it. Da -da 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 -da. Absolutely, it was indeed Z cars. Dinky do from Scotty McClure. What about that? The Sweeney, the Sweeney. Remember that Billy Gillen? Fantastic. John Thaw. And uh, who was who was in the Sweeney with John Thaw? See if you can get that one right. Right? Who's in the Sweeney with John Thaw? Angela Doherty. Dinky do. You're watching Scotty McClure. Monday evening pop up just for you, combining the Big Bank holiday quiz. Next question. 
<laughs> this is excellent stuff, right? In what town do Wraith Rovers play, right? And it's not Wraith, all right? Waterman says, Anderson, it was Dennis Waterman, that's right, and John Thaw. And then Dennis Waterman was with George Cole in Minder, is that right? Have I got that right? Dennis Waterman, Brian Paul Mulholland, you are 100% correct. Excellent stuff. Guys, do you like the Monday evening Big Bank Holiday Quiz with me, Scotty McClure? Live on Facebook Live, just for you, the world's top broadcast platform. It was indeed Dennis Waterman. How fantastic is that? Next question, in what town do Wraith Rovers play? Now, a lot of you are watching in India, Africa, Canada, America, Madagascar, Tasmania, the Arctic, the Antarctic, the Tierra del Fuego. You might not know this. What a place that is. So there we are. Brian Paul Mulholland. Charles A. Diver. Sharice might have got this one. Actually, if she, but she had to go for her tea. And it's known as the Lang Toon. All right. And they used to make a fair bit of linoleum. They had the lino factories, and there was a wee bit of a... Oh, a wee bit of a smell. It used to pen and ink a bit when I was very wee. So there you are. It is indeed Kirkcaldy. We are correct. What a great one. Kirkcaldy. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the World's Top Broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. Monday evening pop-up, and we are combining the Big Bank Holiday Quiz. Excellent stuff. Gavin Scott, Bart's watching. Dinky-doo, welcome, welcome, welcome. I say, do some sharing, guys. Let people know that we're live right now. Uh, I'll do a wee bit sharing if I can. Excellent. So there we go. Share, just share. What do you any harm to, to just share, for goodness sake? Welcome, welcome. Next question. Whose song of joy is the anthem of the European Union? All right. Whose song of joy is the anthem of the European Union? All right. Now, I don't think it's Song of Joy. I think it's Ode to Joy. Am I not correct? So there you are. So whose Song of Joy? Yes, whose Ode to Joy is the anthem of the EU, which hopefully we're going to be staying in. So there you are. Evening, Scotty Dinky Doo, says Gavin Scott Butt. Evening, Gavin Scott Butt. Dinky Doo from Scotty McClure. And as he says, Gavin Scott Butt arrives, and like a master, he just walks in and says, Beethoven. So there you are. Ode to joy. It is indeed the Ode to joy. Excellent stuff. Wendy Walker's watching. Dinky Doo. You're watching Scotty McClure's The Big Bank Holiday Quiz. Just for you. Last question. Right, last question. The famous sleuth who contracted gangrene from biting his tongue after stumbling on an unevening, an uneven uh, pavement. Pavarotti, says Charles E. Diveno. Pavarotti, very famous singer. Pavarotti, but um, he didn't compose the Ode to Joy. That was... Ludwig van Beethoven. So there you are. Yes, as, as McClure's not as daft as he looks, which is a good job, I always say. So there we are. Excellent stuff. And uh, right, so we're looking for that one. What classic, yes, uh, famous sleuth contracted gangrene. We don't want that. From biting his tongue after stumbling on an uneven pavement. It wasn't Pavarotti and it wasn't Beethoven. We're on to the sleuth. Now, a sleuth means a detective, really, to be quite honest. So there you are. See if you can get that one right. And then we'll finish on a high. We'll finish on a high. Excellent. So does anybody know who that was? Can't mind his name, but it was someone to do with Pinkerton, the detective. Gavin Scott Butt, you are a genius. An absolute genius. So there you are. And it was indeed Alan Pinkerton. 
Yes, brilliant. Last question in Scotty McClure's Big Bank Holiday Quiz for every single one of you, dinky-doo. Make sure you share this broadcast all the time, right? And once we uh, once we pop down, we've popped up. Once we pop down, share and share and share and share, guys, because I want to bring all of Facebook together, right? Very, very important. Dean Park's watching. Dinky Doo, one of our finest performers in the country. Uh, Charles A. Diver, excellent stuff. Dinky Doo, last question on the Big Bank Holiday Quiz with me, Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Are we ready? Are you ready? Here we go. What famous motor manufacturer invented the motor car? Right? So what famous motor manufacturer invented the motor car? All right. Dinky Doo, Dean Park, lovely to have you with us, you top man. Let us know what you're up to and we shall tell the nation. Katrina McCarty, Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, Monday evening pop-up, combined with the Big Bank Holiday Quiz. Ford, says Harry Fitzsimmons, not Henry Ford, Harry, no, no. Ford, says Gavin Scott, but not Henry Ford, no. He did the production line and uh, brought it within Irvin Vinny. Krasniki, Ervin Vini Krasniki says Ford, no, Ervin Vini Krasniki, not Ford. Henry Ford says Gavin Scott, but no, not Henry Ford. So there we are, John Cummings watching, dinky do, John. Lovely to have you with us. You're all watching Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet. The Big Bank Holiday Quiz just for you, dinky do. So there we are. One more got this one, the last question, and then I promise you, I shall push off. All right, let you get on with your evening. So there we go. So come on, come on, come on. Which motor manufacturer actually invented the motor car? Right? Come on then, come on, come on. I'll put the clock on you, okay? I'll give you 10 seconds on the clock, and we're ready. Gavin Scott Burt, you're very near. Hello, Scott. Hey, this is Robbie Crossan. Dick, you do, Robbie Crossan. Welcome to Scotty McClure's Monday evening pop-up. First Lord of the Internet, World's Top Broadcaster. This is the Big Bank Holiday Quiz. The last question. Which motor manufacturer actually invented the motor car? Gavin Scott Burt. You've got the name of his daughter. Right? Ford with the first factory, yes, indeed, and the production line. Audi, says Harry Fitzsimmons. No, Harry, the Audi was a bit later. So there you are. Come on then, guys, let's get this right before we go. BMW Bavarian Motorwerken. No, 9, 9, Gavin Scott Burt. VW 9, 9, the Volkswagen. 9, 9, uh, Sir Andrew Stackhouse. There we are. And uh, come on, who could it have been? Somebody's just mentioned his daughter, Gavin Scott Butt. It was Benz, Harry Fitzsimmons. Ab yes, indeed. Carol Benz invented the motor car. And, of course, his daughter was Mercedes. And he called one of his models after Mercedes, his daughter. The Flintstones says, Katrina McCarthy, wrong, but I love you. Time to go, my darlings. What a fantastic pop-up tonight. Thanks for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed being with you. This is Scotty McClue. First Lord of the Internet, and of course, the world's top broadcaster, saying dinky do to every one of you. I shall sing you the song. Stuart Duffel says he was just going to say that. Peter Dale Nevins is watching dinky do. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Especially to Carol Benz. Cheerio and a cheerio, au revoir and a cheerio. Put myself off. Cheers, everybody. Scotty McClue wishing you a wonderful bank holiday evening. Dinky-doo. Scotty McClue has left the building.